All right, so this is Jeep update number 35, and in 35, I want to update everyone on three things. So number one, um, just, just <laughs> these birds crack me up around here. Every time I start filming, the, uh, the, the neighbor has quite a few bird feeders, and they sit out there in the evenings and in the morning, and they sing to you, and I'm sure you guys can hear it in the video. But anyways, number one um, is a quick update on the BDS suspension. Number two is a fire extinguisher that I just recently put on the Jeep. And then number three is a, an update on where I'm at with the, you know, the V8 motor swap and the, the motor conversion. All right, so number one is the BDS suspension. And I've had a couple of people ask some comments, uh, some questions in the comment section. And, you know, how do you like it? How does it perform overall? And I tell you, I have absolutely zero regrets uh, mounting that suspension in the Jeep. Um, I love it. So I've had absolutely uh, no ride quality issues. Uh, to me, it's not too stiff. I've got no problems with my steering. So absolutely no regrets um, putting that suspension kit on. And you know, it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's a good quality kit. So if you're looking at suspensions, I studied them for a long time. Uh, to me, BDS should be one of your top contenders, top choices. So number two on the list is a fire extinguisher. And I see a lot of guys have these in their Jeeps and I've actually watched some videos on YouTube uh, where they've actually needed them and uh, you know I saw a guy roll his Jeep over and it caught on fire now I'm never gonna put my Jeep in that kind of a situation and I honestly don't think most people do so I've always kind of wondered why people had a fire ex fire extinguisher but in a 36 year old Jeep with 36 year old wiring uh, I've replaced all the gas lines the carburetor and everything like that but sometimes you do get a pretty heavy smell of gas, at least I do, from my engine. So just from a safety perspective, I decided to put a uh, fire extinguisher in here. And it's pretty cool the way I set it up. Let me show it to you guys. All right, so here's the setup I chose. And I went with the uh, Drake billet aluminum mount. And then I bought these uh, stainless steel T-bolt uh, three-quarter inch straps. So I bought two of them for down here to hold the base of the Drake mount to the roll bar. And then I bought two more, a little bit bigger, to hold the fire extinguisher to the mount. Now this mount's pretty cool in the sense that all you have to do is pull that button where it says pull. And the top part of the, the, top part of the mount actually comes apart and you can remove it pretty quick. So it's a quick release. Let me see if I can demonstrate that for you. That's all you do is pull this button right here, the top part comes off and it just lifts off like that. So you can see how the bottom, the top part of the mount comes off with the uh, fire extinguisher when you pull that pin and it's got the groove at the bottom and then the quick release hole at the top. And to put it back in, kind of just the reverse. So you put this in like this, pull this out, drop it in. So like most things that I buy for this Jeep, I did a lot of research and I looked at the, uh, you know, the Velcro ones um, and there's a lot of good choices out there, but hardly, uh, hardly any of them that people didn't complain about the, you know, the straps tearing, the, the, the Velcro fading over time, um, and then being able to get it tight enough um, without breaking it to securely hold that fire extinguisher. So I didn't want to take any chances with that. I wanted that thing really securely mounted and the drake mounts a little bit more um, on the a little bit more pricey um, the way i have it set up but uh gives me peace of mind that the thing's going to still be there in the event of an emergency so one last thing about the fire extinguishers i'll put the uh, links i bought everything on amazon and i'll put all the links down in the description box to the parts i used I'm not advocating you should buy the same parts just want to show you guys what i used i ended up having to buy like six sets of those clamps before i got it right so if you're interested in this setup, um, again, I'll put the exact link down to the ones that fit the CJ uh, roll bar and the fire extinguisher that I bought. All right, last but not least is an update on the 350 motor swap that I wanna do. And honestly, I haven't done much with that. You know, I'm gonna enjoy the Jeep over the summertime. Um, it runs good with the motor that it has in it. And I'm still doing a, a ton of research and still uh, making parts lists and figuring out the, you know, how I'm gonna do this where I'm going to get the motor, how, I'm on, how am I going to get it home, am I going to pick it up, have it shipped. Um, hey, I need, now I need an engine uh, hoist, an engine stand. So 
there's some hidden expenses in doing something like this if you've never done it before and I'm certainly learning about those uh, but I did end up picking up one part and let me show it to you so this is a brand new uh, 350 water pump and you might be saying why did you buy a water pump and it's because I didn't buy it um, a buddy of mine gave it to me uh, his name's Matt so thanks Matt for the free part and I hope that I'm gonna use this on my motor when I get it so that's one less thing I have to buy all right I hope you guys enjoyed that Jeep update I really like making these videos kind of again documenting the journey of my Jeep I've done 35 videos on this Jeep and all of the work I've done to it so if you're interested in looking at any of those there's a playlist on the main page of my YouTube channel uh, with all 35 updates in it all right so if you like the video you like the content of the channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching